What's up Cubers, sorry for the long wait, I had been planning a 3x3 tutorial video but unfortunately it got deleted, so instead, we're reviewing the Chi Yi Clock. Now, without further ado, let's just get right into this, I'm so excited. Whoa. So this is the Chi Yi clock. Now, to those of you who haven't seen a clock before, it may look really weird, but it's just so fascinating how this is even made. What came through the person's mind who created the first Rubik's clock? It's incredible. And it comes with a nice little detachable stand, again, if you want to display it. Um, but we're not using that for now. Also in the box, it comes with a nice big bit of plastic. Great for the environment. But some little cards as well. So there's some nice pictures on, but they do just get in the way sometimes. And the instructions, but we won't be needing those because I already know how to solve the clock. Let's move all this stuff out the way. Out the way. And let's just do some turns on the clock, if you could call them turns. So the actual feel of turning the dials is really nice. The magnets help it click into place really nicely. And it just, they're, they're pretty much effortless to turn, which I see as a good thing, but I also see as a bit of a bad thing, because if you're just going and turning really fast, you don't want to overshoot. Now the pins, they, these are my favorite bit. So these, when you push this pin down, if you were to turn this cog, you can see it freezes these. Which again, goes back to my point of this is incredibly clever. But these pins, they've got magnets in. You can see that tiny bit of metal. And they're so effortless to push in. This is just the best thing to just push up and down and up and down. But that's probably getting annoying. So let's just get this thing scrambled and I can do a quick solve. It's also really hard to scramble, I'm not sure why, it just feels, it never ever feels properly scrambled. Okay, that should do it. Now, what the aim of the clock is, if I show you on this piece quickly, you want all of these dials to be facing these two red lines, or 12 o'clock. Now, you solve it similar to a 3x3. Three three. You make a cross in the middle and then solve the corners. But we're going to start on the white side because it's a bit easier to see. What I'm looking for first is to match these two and make then make a sort of L shape with this centre. So just looking around I can freeze all the different pins. And there we go. You can see that these three are all facing the same direction and they're all pointing up. They don't have to point up. I just find it easier and I don't lose track. Now the next bit... I do these two at the same time instead of putting it back up. There we go. So now you can see I've got a sort of cross, like you would in a 3x3, three three, all pointing up towards these red lines. Now we turn it over and we do the same on the other side. Also what I like to do when I turn it over, if I'm going really fast, I just slam my hand on the back, push all the pins through, it's really fun. So then we look at the back and we do pretty much what we just did. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, you can't see my face, but I'm concentrating so hard. There we, ooh, there we go. So now we have the cross, all of them pointing up, and the same, the same on the other side. Now it's time to do the corners, which you don't do anything like a three by three. And this is the part where I sometimes get it wrong. Oh, wait! I think I just did it. Yes, I did it. Okay, so that's the that's the cheeky clock for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't too long, but it was a bit rushed. But I really hope you enjoyed it. And I would highly recommend this cube. Apart from one thing that spooks me out. I, I just, what? Anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. See you next time.